So we already took a look at my cringy old Invader Zim fanfiction, okie pokey, but I loved Zim so much that I did a lot more than just write about it. There's this wonderful PlayStation game series called Little Big Planet, where you have total freedom to make your own video game levels. So naturally, one of the first things young me ever did was make some Invader Zim levels. I always wanted there to be an Invader Zim video game, but not like those half-decent Flash games they used to have. I wanted a full Invader Zim adventure. Zim eventually got featured in a lot of the Nickelodeon crossover games, but that took a while to happen. I remember there was this old YouTube video of a fake Invader Zim game trailer, and I thought it was real and I was upset that it never came out. But it turns out if I read the description, I would have found out that was just some random talented person's animation test. So if nobody would make a Zim game for me, I had to make it myself through Little Big Planet levels. Are they as horrible as my old fanfiction? I'll get you better, Chili. Well, let's find out. All right, here we are in Little Big Planet 3, uh, with my house that looks like this for some reason. What sticker is this? Why is this in my house? What is this? Oh, it's a hat. Okay, I don't know why that's there, but okay. This is my original character, Man, who I made in the first Little Big Planet game and always used him as my avatar. He's cute, but I should have named him better. But anyways, let's get to what we're here for. Let's find my own level, if I can navigate this menu. <laughs> so here is Invader Zim New. It's called New because there was a different Invader Zim level I made before this, but I deleted it because I didn't like it. And it's probably gone forever, so that's sad. I like that comment that just says, dire interesting i haven't played my level in a very long time so i don't know what this is like i do know that i mostly copied somebody else's level like the gur and everything like this gur i did not make that i just took it for somebody else so this is gur saying hi there and there he is again here is the exit see just like in the show gur's just totally okay with some random person being in the house i remember yeah here's this guy i think you can fly over this but i don't know if there's this oh there is a secret yeah, you can, oh. Yeah, so if you fly over that fence, you can fill the level with water, but I don't want to do that because then that ruins the level. So I'll reset. So we'll fly up here to Zim's house. Now this Zim's house I made, you can tell because it looks really bad. Like, look at the windows. At least I, I even put the men sign on the door, so that's good. Those gnomes that I stole. Oh wait, there's actually, there's a secret. There's a switch on top of that, on that building. What's that do? I think that does something later in the level, actually, now that I remember. Zim is up to something. Can you see? I do have eyes. I can see. Here's Dib's house, which is apparently right next to Zim's house, which is not true. Can you push that button? These are, um, these are bombs. bombs. This is what bombs in a little bit point look like. So if you push this button, and you will blow up the Donuts Coffee building that has um, Edgar Allan Poe and Solid Snake in it for some reason. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a switch, okay. It also destroys the grass, which I probably didn't intend to happen, but it just happens. You fend. You fend. He's supposed to be saying fiend. I'm just missing one letter, but not having that one letter makes that just a completely nonsense word. And then uh, this means that you grab this fence and it disappears. Here's a cowboy. Oh. Get off my lawn. The city is very poorly designed. Over here, where you, uh, you walk in the middle of traffic. They honk at you, too. That's pretty cool. But, um... What I actually did here is there's a glitch in the original game that let you put items further in the background that you were supposed to be able to. So I thought that was awesome and had to have an excuse to do it, so I did it here. And that's a, a sticker of Mei Ling from Metal Gear, if you know that. I didn't know that when I was a kid. Let's jump across this. That's where you're supposed to go. If you go over here, you get these point bubbles and get the high score. Oh, you can unlock... That's his house. So you pick this up and then you get his house. This guy's saying, yo, there's another switch. So I guess there's three secret switches in this level. That will probably give me items at the very end. I'll we'll fall down. So we got to destroy this wall. Okay. Then we got these lasers that are shooting at us from Zim. But you can just walk in a different layer and not get hit by them. But we'll destroy them. See what happens. I think they... Not, okay, nothing happened. Nothing happens. It literally still shoots. It just doesn't move. What about this one? Okay, something exploded. I don't know what exploded. Here's Zim again. Oh, wait, no. You're able to shoot Zim, actually. Yep. Yeah. You're able to shoot Zim. But I didn't connect the health bar correctly, so only his head explodes and his face stays there and his hair falls. There's Dib again. We win. Yeah, we did it. We win. Yeah, and then these are the items from pulling the switches. Like, these wouldn't be here if you didn't pull the switch, I think. So we'll pick up that evil girl that wasn't even in the level. And then this. There we go. And then we win some stuff. That horrible Zim right there, that's the Zim from my original Zim level that I made and deleted. You could you could probably tell why I deleted that. Now, let's go. let's go back and just fill it with water. So we go over that fence. We pick up this so we can breathe underwater. And I think you can fall through this. What happens if I fall through this? 
You just get stuck. You just completely get stuck. Awesome. Well, great level design. All right, so we'll pull the switch, and then it should fill everything with water. Yep, there we go. Oh my goodness. You can't even beat the level when there's water because you need to shoot this and destroy it. And you can't shoot it because the gun is stuck. In case you wanted to know, uh, you get the gnome if you beat the level without dying. Okay, before we play Invader Zim 2, I just noticed this level made by my younger brother called Pirates of the Carbine. And this guy commented, sucks rubbish stupid. So he should get banned. But anyways, let's play Invader Zim 2. Much improved version of the other level. It's actually not. It's probably almost the exact same level. So here it starts off in the lab again. This is supposed to say Zim. So here this is a little elevator. You press the button. And it'll go up. Because I learned how to use that. Hello, ugly sack thingy. Can I experiment on you? Gur says, hi, doggy. And then here, this is a concept I completely stole from somebody else's level, where this is a camera. You pick up this camera, and then Dib tells you, Psst, put this camera on Zim's ship. I don't know why Zim is in all caps. You put it on the ship. You put it on the... You put, you put it on the very specific part of the ship, and then this gateway opens and you can come over here. So you fly up out, and there's a wrestler over there this time. Here's the house. It looks a little better. Gurr's in the window. Guess who made waffles? Now that's a quote right there. I also put the little thingies in front, and you can actually pull on them, which is kind of cool. And then this is a secret. You can see that gnome on top of this sign that says Dib's house oh, with a skull on it, because Dib is that cool. If you drag this gnome to the end of the level, I think you get something. Or just drag it over to, yeah, drag it over to Dib's house. Oh, and then the garage opens and you, she, you, you, you drag this over to Dib's house and the garage opens and you see Tax ship, dog with me. So that's Zim in his disguise, but the hair looks absolutely horrible. It's like a, just a, it's just like just a black blob holding over his head. And then you got this burger place. I thought this was actually in the first level. I was, I, this, I definitely remember. So you see all those boxes over there. There's one that like a guy is stuck inside of, his legs are coming out. I thought that was so funny. I thought that was the funniest man in the world for doing that. And I also probably copied somebody else's level. See, there's these meats on the table. You can grab them and then you eat them. And then when you eat them, one of the boxes opens. You see, that's amazing. There. So then you climb up these boxes and you get the you get the burger place and the meat that you eat. And then uh, you climb up this to go into the cesspool. Which is in Walk of Doom and Dib Ship Rising, I think. Or Walk for Your Lives, not Walk of Doom. Those two episodes always confuse me because they have the same exact title on. Here's Gur with the piggy. That's a good piggy. That's cute. And then we can jump across this. <gasps> no! Okay, you need a lot of momentum to make this jump, so let's do it. There we go. Is there anything over here? There is. No, there's not. Darn it. Well... As I was falling down here, there was a dialogue box, but I, there's no way for me to go back to it. But I'm pretty sure it says something about like Invaders in 3 coming in Little Big Planet 2. It, see, because that's supposed to be a sack bot, which is a new feature in Little Big Planet 2. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm hitting at. Also, that's like a Zim like play a character. Oh, here we go. Yeah, episode 3 coming soon to Little Big Planet 2. Look at how look at that like drawn out Zim right there. That's really creepy looking. Please heart. So that's saying please heart, which is like likes. Maybe I spelled it wrong on purpose, but I don't know. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. But yeah, that level is definitely pretty good. That matches up to the show quite a bit and stuff. So here is Invader Zim, but it, it's, it's a reboot. It's, a, it's not Invader Zim 3, it's, a, it's Invader Zim. It's a reboot. The guy thinks it's amazing, so it's gotta be amazing. Zim is making an evil Sackbot army to destroy LBP, which is Little Big Planet. Stop him, smiley face. Let's spy on Zim. Yeah, so here's Dib. He's actually like a like an NPC that can follow you around. I did the thing with his house again. The house looks even better than it ever did before. Zim's house is like, like these two platforms. Oh, Dib. Dib! No! Over here you see um, Davy Jones from Cards of the Caribbean jumping around having fun. Let's go down to the lab. Here we got this guy. He follows you around. Seems to be some sort of guard robot. If Dib dies here, restart. Game Redux 27. So that's like a note from me, the developer of the level. Because if Dib dies here, you can't finish the level, I guess. This is where all the broken robots go. Then we got these gloves, which you need to use to pick stuff up. So you pick up Dib, and you throw him at the button. You throw him at the button. There we go. And then... Uh, there's nothing that goes sort of the oh here's cutscene. Zim having a robot dance party, but oh, that's his plan to destroy the Earth with all the robots. Yeah, I didn't have to zoom in on it. I could see it from the other shot, but okay. We must stop him. Oh, you just die if you walk over there. Okay, that's one way to stop you from going into the cutscene, I guess. And then it plays the cutscene again. Jump up these horribly made stairs. <laughs> Dib fell, and we pull this, and curse you! Oh my god! Why would he even have this lever? 
But also, Zim is dead. Like, you kill Zim. He's dead. He died. They die in the show sometimes, too, but he just died for real. The show's never coming back because he died in this level. Oh, okay. That was a machine that was making robots. You pull that switch and it blows up. Also, um, how does that guy have three million points? And here's Gur jumping around having fun. Definitely shorter and less to see than the other ones, but probably the most creative one. Wait, I just found a secret that I didn't even know about. I jumped here. Yeah, and it shows, it says triangle. So if I jump and press triangle, you go inside the house. You go inside the door, but you, it doesn't do anything. There's not, you can't do anything. You can just eject, but that's kind of cool. I don't know why I did that. So that's all for that. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to play the levels, I'll link my information and stuff in the description. And then if you happen to own this game, you can look it up and play what you just saw. If you enjoyed this video, Please feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to know when I post a new video. Also consider supporting me on Patreon for just $2 a month to get some cool bonuses. Thanks for watching, and super special thanks to my Patreon supporters.